Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Already on week 3, how quick has the first two weeks gone? Obviously the few shocks results and decisions going against possibly your team's way, depends who you support. Um, I'll be mentioning that in this video, so guys anyway, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first guy I'll talk about is Huddersfield versus Fulham. Huddersfield drawing one all with QPR away from home. That's not the best result for Huddersfield, if I'm all, all honest. I think with Huddersfield, you're expecting so much, but yet getting so little. Um, if obviously you're a Huddersfield fan, please feel free to comment down below how you think your first two games are gone. Um, Fulham on the other hand beating Blackburn at home uh, which is a plus for Fulham considering they lost in their opening weekend um, but with Fulham and Huddersfield they're both really expected to get into that Premier League uh, gap you know playoffs or automatic promotion I think I just think Huddersfield will miss out on the certain situations um, between going up and um, I think Huddersfield really do need to strengthen but as far as this game goes I'm going to give it a 2-0 Fulham win the next one is Barnsley versus Charlton now Barnsley losing 2-0 in the Yorkshire Derby Charlton beating Stoke 3-1 um, Barnsley were probably expected to lose in that first game, let's be honest. Um, you know, going Sheffield Wednesday, Hillsborough, it's not the easiest place to go. Well, Charlton Athletics seem to be, you know, settling into the championship more than a lot of people probably thought. Um, so, fair play to them. As far as the result goes, I'm going to give it another Charlton win, and I'm going to give it a 2 1. Charlton win. The next one is Blackburn versus Middlesbrough. Um, Blackburn losing 2 0 to Fulham. Um, Middlesbrough losing 1 0 to Brentford. Now, going to the Riverside, and I talked about Brentford in a minute, you're expected to pick up the win. Um, Blackburn, on the other hand, I've just, you know, recently spoke about them. Um, because of Fulham. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Middlesbrough and I'm going to give it a 2 0 Middlesbrough win. The next one is Brentford versus Hull. Brentford beating Middlesbrough 1 0 and Hull beating Reading 2 1. Um, Reading, no disrespect to Reading, no disrespect at all. Um, everyone's expected to play Reading and get a result. That's how bad things have gone downhill um, since Jack Stan's, you know, great season at Reading. Um, Brentford, on the other hand, going to the Riverside Stadium and getting the three points after losing their star man to Brighton. Um, I can't complain with that. Um, as far as this result goes, I'm going to give it to Brentford and I'm going to give it a 3 1 Brentford win. My next one is Bristol City versus QPR. <laughs> um, Pri Bristol City drawing one all with Birmingham City, QPR drawing one all with Huddersfield. I've reflected on Huddersfield a bit. Let's go Bristol City up at Birmingham. Um, a point at St Andrews for Bristol City calibre should be beating Birmingham. No disrespect. Um, I know St Andrews ain't the easiest place to go. I know Crawley Town, um, not Crawley Town, Coventry City, sorry, are playing on the pitch as well. So, pitch up at St Andrews might be a bit heavier than a lot of pitches already because of the uh, Coventry situation. So, no disrespect to... You know, going up and getting a point on that side of things, but I still think you should have um, 
gone and got the three points. QPR, Huddersfield getting a point at home to Huddersfield. I don't think that's too bad either, considering where QPR are be going in the past few years. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to give it to Bristol City and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Bristol City win. My next one is Luton Town versus West Bromwich Albion. Luton Town losing 2-1 to Cardiff. Um, that's a bit of a, I wouldn't say shock result because it was at the Cardiff City Stadium. But, you know, I would have thought Luton Town might have got a point out of that one. Um, coming near the end of the week. Um, but, as I said, no disrespect to Luton Town. I think it's a 90 minute go up at Cardiff as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, West Brom drawing to Millwall. Yet again, West Brom want to get back to the Premier League. These are games they're going to have to be winning, especially at home. Um, no disrespect to Millwall, but teams like Millwall, you should be beating quite comfortably. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to give it back to Luton Town. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 Luton Town win. The next one is Millwall versus Sheffield Wednesday. I just spoke about Millwall. Sheffield Wednesday 2-0 against Barnsley. Reflected on it a bit when I spoke about the Barnsley predictions. So I ain't going to reflect on this result too much again. But Sheffield Wednesday, I think you need to perform away from home as well as just at home. Uh, I know the championship record. If you're going to go up, you need to play at home and away. And you need to get three points a lot more away from home. And also do the home side as well. Mill will pick up a point against West Brom. That ain't too bad. Given it it's back at the den this week, I'm going to give it a one all scoreline for that one. The, the den is one of the toughest places to go in the championship. The next one is Nottingham Forest versus Birmingham. Nottingham Forest drawing one all with Leagues. And Birmingham City drawing one on Bristol City. I've already reflected on the Birmingham result. Um, let's go to the Notch Forest result. Um, one all. Uh, where do I start? Um, obviously, there's a f poss should have been a foul leading up to the Notch Forest goal. Um, and then there was a handball incident with the goal. Um, I've seen it. I do feel... A little bit hard done by, but this is where the VAR really does help. Um, you know, miss incidents like that, um, you know, this is where VAR really is helpful uh, more than one occasion. But this is where I think VAR needs to be in the championship as well, purely because I know you fans are going to have your own comments, and please feel free to comment. But VAR is in the Premier League. Put it down in the division below. The Championship is the hardest division to get out of. So, you know, put it down in there as well. You're, you're eligible for the equipment. Most of, your, most of the grounds are, you know, eligible to hold and everything with the equipment. So put it down in the Championship as well. But as far as the result goes, I'm going to give it to Notch Forest and I'm going to give it a 2 0 Notch Forest win. My next one is Stoke City versus Derby. Derby County drawing 0 0 with Swansea and Stoke losing 3 1 to Charlton. Nathan Jones's Stoke ain't really kicked off yet. Um, I'm hoping it won't be too long. Derby drawing 0 0 with Swansea. Now, where do you go with Derby? I mean, you've got you know, Frank Lampard had done an incredible job up at iPro Stadium. Done an amazing job with Derby. Um, if you're a Derby fan, please feel free to comment below where do you think you're going to finish. Uh, but the way this is going, I don't. I think you might just slip out of the playoffs. Unless you start picking up three points more regularly. I know it's only week two. But obviously if you watch the Premier League. 
yet again mentioned in VAR, decisions can relegate and lose people's jobs. So it's going to be one of those things, I think. But as far as the result goes, I'm going to give it back to Derby. And I'm going to give it a 3-1 Derby win. My next one is Swansea City versus Preston North End. Preston beating Wigan 3 0, not a huge surprise. I've just reflected on the uh, Derby result. So let's go back to Preston and um, reflect on their result a bit. Preston beating Wigan 3 0. No disrespect to Wigan, that is a result you're expected to pick up from the Preston end. Uh, you know, Wigan. One of these teams that I think I'll put to go down, it's all in my championship edition table on my channel now. Do feel free to check out after this video. Um, but, you know, Wigan are a team, a lot of teams that are looking at going, we get three points here. Um, and that's what Preston North End did. Um, Swansea, on the other hand, you know, Ressies ain't really kicked off yet either. Which one? I'm going to give this one to Preston, and I'm going to give this one a 3 0 Preston win. My next one is Wigan Athletic versus Leagues. Now, I've reflected on Leagues, I've got to talk about them in just a minute. I've just reflect on Wigan as well with the last fixture, so I ain't going to dwell on this too much. But this is a game where I think Leagues, I don't want to say you're on a down up because you're not. But you're sort of like, you know, a bit of a iffy side at the minute. Um, obviously, I spoke about the unfair goal. Um, but, but Wigan, being at home, need to definitely pick up a point. But I don't think they will. So, with this one, I'm going to give it a 2-0 league win. My last one for this weekend, and it's most probably the incitable one. It is Reading versus Cardiff. Um, Cardiff beating Luton 2-1. Um, Reading losing to Hull City 2-1. Oh, what, what result? Um, now, Cardiff, now, Cardiff do need to go to the Medici Stadium and beat Reading. Uh, to even have a chance of coming back up to the Premier League. But where do you go... With this, oh, Cardiff, I want your opinion. Cardiff fans, I want your opinion on this. Um, where do you go with Reading? Do you go over over to Reading? Um, do you go looking for the three points? Or do you go out there happy with a point? Um, but what I'm thinking, that Cardiff won't be happy with the points. So we're going to go there looking for the three points. And what I've seen of Reading... Um, I'm going to give Cardiff the three points for this one, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. But um, anyway, guys, um, but yeah, anyway, guys, um, obviously, my League 1 2 predictions are up. My Premier League will be up at uh, the same time as this one. I'm starting to, you know, look at things and you know, so if you're interested in the Premier League, do feel free. It should be up on my channel now. But guys, I've got a brilliant video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.